Hello everyone. Um, the fighting controller Octa just came from Hori. And I know a lot of people that are waiting for it. And how does it work? Is it good? Um, and actually, I I wanted to buy the one before for this one to play fighting games, but I just said like, uh, let me wait for the next one and see how it works and how it behaves. So this is the unboxing. Let's see. How does it, uh, how it goes, and, and yeah, let's, let's open it up together and see if we got something that we like here. I like fighting games, so we're gonna just unbox it and test it out a little, see how it behaves. And also people wanna... Oh. We can just skip forward, probably I'm gonna put a timestamp or something. Okay, how it comes. The guide, quick start guide. It just basically says connect USB ports and that's it, there's nothing on the back so probably just like auto connect since it's for each box and I'm gonna use it for for the PC so let's see how it works the, that stuff see the trend is just USB Open the controller and look at that. This is my hand. Have um, medium size hands, a little bit bigger. I don't know. This is how it looks on my hand. Um, fits well. It's quite. Uh, I would say big, you can you can see it from behind. Like compared to some other ones, like just without the grips. It's like smaller, but you can see it's actually pretty, you know. Good. Let's just zoom on it. We got those buttons. Those here. We back. And we got four on the top. Mm. That's good. I like overall how it feels. Uh, I don't know if the stick feels a bit too... Mm. I mean, it feels nice. Uh, a bit too... Um, it's not very light. I play melee, for example, Smash Melee. And the controllers are more like the stick is moves faster. So this is feels like a bit heavier. Um, not heavier, but like it comes back really quickly and it feels a bit more dense. I don't know. Uh, you can judge it. I mean, I can do that too, but it doesn't have too much, like, jiggle, so it's pretty, like, in there. doesn't move that much. I think that's good. Mm. The buttons. Oh, hear that? Wow, I didn't expect that. Like, I was thinking... I was expecting something different, but buttons are like picky. It's like mouse buttons. Here, here the mouse. The ones on top here like this. So more like accustomed to what we have normally. But the buttons feels like you're gonna be pressing them like that. Eh? 
Because here's like it, it hears like it's like a mouse click. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, looking good. Um, I'm gonna try it out playing some games, and I'm gonna give you my my opinion uh, after. Maybe I'm gonna just show all this. Maybe I got something on the editing later. But yeah. The cable. Um, it's pretty long, I would say. So something like this. It's pretty long. out in the computer I'm gonna just plug it in and see if it just like detects it instantly we're configuring fighting commander octa for xbox series x so maybe it's just like that just done The controller is ready for use. So yeah, let's just test it out and see how it looks, and I'll give you the feedback uh, after it. No, um, the this green button turn it green. I mean, this button turn it green. I don't know what it is, but if I press it, turns different colors. I don't know what it means actually. The instructions should have more of that. Mm. Okay. So yeah, the analog stick is like at an eight gig, eight gig. So that's why it's octa. Mm. Yeah, I don't find where is like the other instructions for, for, for example, that thing, that color thingy. Uh, easily switch between four profiles. Okay, it says four profiles. So it has like four different profiles that I think you can configure the, the button to. So maybe use like. For certain games, you have some some of those for speed running or fighting games, or stuff like that. It's okay. Hello. Okay. So this is the. I'm testing this out. See how it looks. How it feels. It's been a while since I played um, Build the Year. Normally I've been playing more Street Fighter, but something works. Okay. Okay, let's do some inputs. Okay, this was all with the stick. Feels nice, I, I can do the inputs. This is like a Shoryu. I mean, it's Falcon. This is a Shoryu. Shoryu motion. I can do it, I feel it nice. Um, the stick feels a little uh, small on my finger and on my thumb. Uh, also, I feel, I don't know how you are, but 
like my I'm, I'm a bit sweaty <laughs> when I play so I feel like it slips a little from my grip like the stick just talking just for stick okay okay feels nice um, so that's my comment uh, stick feels nice. Like I can do these inputs, for example, the diagonal, diagonal ones to do like the dashes. So that's it. Um, the the buttons feel nice. They are responsive. And okay, now let's try out the the um, arrows. I don't know how it's called, but yeah. So the arrows feel nice. Let's see. I'm having a bit a bit of hard time pressing diagonal, but it like it's a bit. It's a bit like on the inside, so you have to like put the finger into the like. There's like a little hole between the two arrows, so like I can press it, but it's not that easy. Maybe you just need practice. Like for example. I'm just trying to do this. Like for example, forward is nice. Yeah, I probably just experience. I looking pretty easy. Like what this like like the good thing about the the um, arrows is that normally, like if you remember playing, I don't know, Super NES. Um, SNS, all that stuff is that uh, after just pressing a few times the arrows, especially doing these combinations like the Shiori motion or the Hadouken, uh, you started feeling like your finger like, hurts a little. Uh, but this like little hole, I think it helps uh, not much, but it helps just soften, soften it up. The, the motion between the movement of the Hadouken. So yeah, that's that's how it feels. The buttons, I don't think I have anything against them. They are pretty responsive. And yeah, I think that, that will be it from, from this. Okay, so in conclusion, um, it feels pretty nice. Uh, the buttons are pretty responsive. I think, like, I don't know, it's, it's a bit weird that they feel like just a mouse click, but they work nice. The triggers also work uh, the way it should be. And just by the first impression, I think it's nice. It's thick, it's a bit small. Um, maybe that's something. When I was just moving it around with my thumb, uh, felt a little bit small, like the hole is not that big, and maybe also like the material is not made for for not sleeping, so you start like sweating a little <laughs> or something, and maybe it's not super just putting you like the finger in there, in there, just like for example a GameCube controller will. Like just this just feels like it's harder to put take the finger like that. So yeah. And and the arrows feels nice. I like the connection between between them. Uh, just makes a little less hurtful the motion of switching between one and the other. Uh, time will say because it still feels a bit uh, hard but I'm just being picky. I don't think there's a problem in that. I think it's good. 
overall better than just having the simple axis especially because um, when you want to do those inputs the diagonal inputs were more most like even harder than, than I was doing them with this so I think that you will be let's just, I think it's better just to have the option of pressing this diagonal thing instead of having to put both and sometimes controllers inputs like random buttons sometimes uh, but yeah that's what I think uh, I use plug in when I played and it says configure area automatically and it was on Steam I played on, on Guilty Gear on stream and it just like worked fine didn't have to do anything more than plugged it so yeah hope you liked it and maybe give you a better um, understanding of what the control this controller this controller is uh, or for later if you want to buy it or you know just check previews I think it was fine so yeah thank you have a nice day God bless